Hello and good evening, friends. It is I, T.I. Freak, and we are back with some more Genshin Impact. Uh, probably gonna be a little on the lower energy side this evening, because the last couple of days of work has thoroughly thrashed my body, but I didn't want to disappoint again for another day in a row, so we are going to jump back into this. Uh, overall plans... I intend to do some more Inazuma exploration because we've got a lot of that map left to cover. Uh, Want to get my four dailies done, of course, because we need those Primo gems. Um, but there's actually the continuation of was it this one? Okay, so yeah, we've got Albedo's final bit of story we need to get done. We got ten days to get her done, but we'll try and get her done tonight. Um. Big things, like I said, we'll get the commission quest done, and we have a substantial amount of Inazuma to deal with, because, as you can see, we don't have anything lit up over here. Uh, there was another... Oh, I, I did spend a little time playing off-camera the other day, and I got these three, I think, here it was, taken care of. And spent a little time just wandering around exploring. Picked up some random chests and just yada yada. Just stuffing things, you know. You know how it goes. Get bored, gotta have something to do. Um, I'm hoping we can unlock maybe this Statue of the Seven soon. Eventually, hopefully. It'll happen. And of course we got, like I said, those to hit up. I, I don't know if we can get to those because certain areas, I think it was like in this area here, is completely blocked off to us. So, as I have no idea what we're going or getting ourselves into, we will uh, no doubt run into uh, various bar barriers and such that we cannot surpass. So, but I haven't been out in a while. But. I snuck in before starting the stream. I decided, well, I got paid today. We're going to have plenty of money through the month. I, I'm wanting to, you know, get Rosaria up to maximum. Albedo, I hear, is good, and I kind of want to do a draw for him. But Eula, you know, it's Eula. I love Eula. She's cute. I've been kind of debating which one do we want to do. Apparently, Albedo is one that everybody really, really wants. I don't know. We're going to do a draw for more Eula, more Rosaria. Fingers crossed, guys. We'll do one now. We'll do one before we call it a night. Oh, and before I forget... We're going to turn on that do not disturb on the telephone. Get it to shut the heck up. Oh, oh. Yes, we got another Rosaria. Very nice. That's some good luck starting this out with. Top it off would be a Barbara. I, I'm happy with a Rosaria simply because that puts her at five or six. Let's take a quick look real quick. Uh, Rosaria, you beautiful creature. That puts her at C6. She's done. She's at max power. Well, except for whatever talents we can beef up, but I, I think we need a lot of stuff for that. Can we level this up at all? We cannot. We need more of this. Okay, so... Yeah, we gotta work on that kind of stuff. Excuse me. Alright. So, the first thing we're doing is the dailies. Which, hopefully, they're all... Up in the main... Mainland. Oh, I, I ain't screwing with those. I don't feel like 
dealing with it at all. Tell him about Oh yeah, how? Well, it looks like we're doing all right. Hey, we need to go look for Wind Wheel Asters too while we're at it, because uh, very, very important for future ascensions on both uh, Sucrose, I think. I think Sucrose was one of them that requires very many of them. Uh, character. Send. I mean, obviously, we need to get to rank 40 first, but we need lots and lots of these because I'm pretty sure Lumine is also somebody that needs... Yeah, so she also needs 45 for her next ones as well. So... What level? We could probably max her out now. Is it worth it, though? That's the question. It would take 60 of them. And I'd much rather put that into Sucrose or Rosaria, which she needs uh, so much stuff. Um, let me let me snap a picture of this real quick. Because I can throw that into... into a Discord channel and actually get help with that, so we might, we might even do that. I don't know. First things first, we, we need stuff. We need the, uh... Oh, that's that. We need to get these dailies done so we can get our Prima Gems so we can move on to other things. out. So Adeline asked us to tidy up the area around the winery. Most places were fine, but there are all these haystacks laying around. Connor said he's storing them here because he needs them for something. They're bound pretty tight, so at least they didn't get blown away in the wind. But still, a load of leaves got blown in among the hay. We worked really hard at it, but we still didn't manage to get all the leaves out. If we keep on at this pace, the head housemate Adeline's gonna freak out. What are we gonna do? Seriously? You're awesome, thanks. Oh, over here? I might end up getting a little distracted. And, uh... Oh, we need Sucrose's abilities? There we go, two of five. And go look for more of those flowers, because... That would be very helpful in the future. In the future. Not bad. That one. Okay, there's the hay bales. There's not two. There's some over here. No, oh, there's one. No, there's two. Okay. There we go. Yeah, Paimon, I've already done the thing. Too slow. How did it go? Did you get them all? My gosh, you're awesome. Traveler, you're the best person ever. Except it was Sucrose. Don't give... I mean, Lumine's cute. Don't get me wrong. But don't give her undue uh, thanks, because it was all Sucrose. And they ascend. That's hilarious to me. <laughs> okay, so next one is... Small step for huge churls. Get my 
myself a better keyboard soon. Ten Prima Gems for that. Oh, wrong one. Well, I mean, technically we could have done that, but... Next! Okay. Oh, wrong one. Oh, we're gonna get good on this one. Check this out. Danger. All the way. Oh no, please don't be in the mountains. Whew, close to it though. That's what I meant. Oh. We still got the uh, ever so elusive. Ah, really? Oh! No, I don't see how that's going to be of much help. Right. Judgment. Boy. Zeri just absolutely destroys her. Absorption test. Stand clear. Cross is absolutely just laying it in there. Oi! You can't run! Gotta get this gone and I don't care about the rest of it. Sucrose 
is just amazing, and I love her. All right, so next step. Let's go get our rewards for completing that. The sun is already out? Oh, uh, okay. Just one last experiment, and hmm. then we can get some rest. Last one, I promise. Ad Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurous Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Alright, another 20 Primo Gems. Very nice. Alright, um... What do we got going on up here? Ooh, we're kind of close to the... This here. We just need another 220 points. We're gonna get that, though. Uh, you. Okay, so... Complete the requisite. Complete the second phase of the quest to unlock the challenge. Okay, so we need to complete this one next. But like I said, we got ten days to do that. I got back off, buddy. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna go to Windrise and see if I'm grabbing those. I think it was Windrise. Yes. Uh, there should be several uh, groupings of plants, I guess. I'm not really sure how you would consider it. Let me get the crystal flies here. Three more over there. You know, at some point I should have this memorized. One would hope, anyway. I thought there was a couple of them yep, right there. Just the one, though? I thought there was more than one. Maybe they haven't grown back yet. I was going to say there's some over here. Dragons are down here. Oh, there were some over here. Okay. This person. Make sure I, I can't remember if I got every single one of them from over here or not. A lot of Healy Churl activity in the area, that's for sure. Ooh, another crystal fly. Exploration progress at 78%. I guess that's not terrible. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Teleport. And then. Okay, zoom in. Uh oh, I think I broke it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so, back to this. Also need sweet flowers, like, forever. Need to get around to cooking. I think I've got plenty of fowl now. We should be able to make a lot of... Tasty food. Okay, should be over here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somewhere, maybe, possibly. Now, come on, I haven't farmed the, the plants in several days. What are you doing to me, game? Ah, we just need to call into question the accuracy of the placement of the dots. 
Okay, so over here somewhere is four more. If my if what that is shown is accurate. Hey, there's even a chest we haven't gathered yet. Let's get it. over here will be the best location to climb up real quick. Sorry, I gotta clip that one myself. That was great. I've never seen it do that before. Thank you for that. Oh, no. Gotta get over here. Silly Genshin. Okay, so I think it's up there. Um, hang on one second. I'm gonna bring that map up and minimize it huh. to just around the map because that's helpful hmm. Hmm. okay so actually it is right up here right up here um there you go thank you thank you thank you Okay, so somewhere around here actually looks like I am in the approximate vicinity of that's a mint. Are they up there perhaps? not tell me I can't have the sweet flowers. Dang it. Okay, well, it's... It's telling me that they're around here somewhere, but I'm not seeing any evidence of that, so... A pine cone! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Am I looking at it wrong? I might be looking at it wrong. I may not be far enough up. I think that's what it is. Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, well, we're done. Okay, so looking at the map. Oh, it's actually over here, guys. Um, I climbed all the way up here. I'm a dumbass. <sighs> Point and laugh, guys. Point and laugh. It's all good. Hey! Wouldn't have found that chest if we weren't all the way up here, though. Chests appearing out of thin air? Okay, so research. down here somewhere. Oh, 
another chest? That is another chest. Geronimo! I mean, granted, it isn't giving us any of the good stuff that we really, really want, but... Better than nothing, you know? Okay, uh, the next... Well, there was a whole bunch of them over here, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and roll us over. Let's see. Face off that direction. Nonsense, boy. Excuse me, little slimes. I'm not here to bother you all. Uh, sweet flowers. Maybe we need to go. Ah, here they are. Okay, so that takes care of those. Uh, if we were to continue going in this general vicinity this way. would come across some. Neck do the snappy snappy. Supposed to be three here. That. Ah, there it is. There's a very upset looking ruin guard over there. Okay, so from here, let me move my little mini map around here. Okay, so there's one directly east of our current location. Actually, over there. <laughs> that looks like a fire flower there. Let's see. Where? Okay, yeah. It's right there. I was looking right at them, friend. Judgment! Okay, well, he chose me to be an enemy with me. Absorption test! Animal <sighs> You can't run! I, why are you not running? Ugh, what a nuisance! I. Judgment! Kid Swirl, Mark 2! Punishment! <laughs> Oh, huh. 
You can't run! Yeah, stand clear. Ah, run sucrose. About done, aren't you? Too big of a deal anymore. It's those flying ones that are such a nightmare. Alright, uh, let's go. We need to go up to this location. And it looks like they're that way, not not behind me, but this way. Those are super easy to get our hands on. Another four. Okay, and then we'll move this over here. We need to go to the lake over yonder. We're almost out of places. We've got three more sections to go to, and then we'll be back on the move with our Inazuma huh? exploration. So please bear with me just a little while longer. Okay, so we got those. Ooh, lampgrass. I vaguely remember them as being important. And there's a chest over there. I want I want that chest for sure. Uh let's see. Put them over there. That takes us to Leave them alone. We don't want to mess with them. Friend cycling will be so. What? I swear I didn't kill anything. Oh! Nice! Free carrots. Okay, so that pretty much claims all the wind wheel asters. So, she now has 132, so that's easily capable of finishing off both of those, I think. But we can't do any of that until we get to adventure rank 40. Uh, let me see. Okay, so that was that message. Okay. Just trying to keep up on messages, I don't want to get too far behind. But we need to get more of these things going before we make it to that point. I'll probably do that off camera. Let's just back it up. Don't we have a job to do? Ma'am, ma'am, you're brushing me here. Okay, so we got this we're doing eventually. Tartar Tales. Okay. Oop, we can zoom that back out a little bit. We need to get to there again. Let's see if I can remember where the campsite's at. I have a vague recollection of it. We should keep moving, but watch your step in the snow. Yeah, here we go. Hey, I'll he's got more stuff. Traveler, Paimon. Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything? We investigated all over the mountain, actually. But we didn't see anyone that looked like you or hear of anyone else meeting you. Um, honestly, we did no such thing. This is not unexpected. 
I haven't made much progress either. He appears to know that we are looking for him, and has opted to lie low for the time being. Still, there is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain, and although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. The footprints were quite numerous, so I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine, one by one. We can help with that! We have plenty of contact with the adventurers! So now we... Ah! What was that? It came from that direction. Could it be the imposter? Yes, let's hurry! Yay, free carrots. Okay, so where's no, there's good. Um Yeah, we can make a few of these. How many we have four. <laughs> oh. I didn't know. I wasn't paying attention that this was a thing. Heck with it. Let's do it all. We got a bonus of one. I can like that. I gotta pay attention to that more. Hmm. What are we missing? Butter? Hmm. Interesting. We'll look into that more later. Uh, all right, we need to go over here. most unfortunate. Hi, Eula. What are you guys doing here? I have to agree. We've been wandering this area for days. We ran into Pallet earlier. You know, the, uh, kind of a reckless sort of guy. You know the one? Anyway, he said he was unlucky, so I gave him some adventuring survival tips. After that, he disappeared to rejoin the training camp. Wait, are you saying that after all this time you still haven't made it back to the base camp? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, as you can see... Hmm. That was nothing, really. We just hit a few landslides and snowdrifts and took a few downhill tumbles. <laughs> you know the deal. They sound like unforgettable life events to me. Anyway, you are correct. We haven't made it to the base camp yet. We have had extraordinarily poor luck over the last few days. Almost as if a sinister force has been trying to thwart our every move. Fortunately, I made advance arrangements for Gerald to remain in a safe location and conduct some basic physical training exercises. I'm sorry. I'm the one to blame for all this. I've always had bad luck and it always rubs off on everyone around me. Sorry to create so much extra trouble for everyone. I don't know what to say. Maybe this is the awesome power of fate. The scary kind, I mean. 
I agree. Yep, we're just used to it now. Besides, it's not like we have the most amazing luck ourselves. This is true. Really? I think you guys have way better luck than I do. Well, uh, what can we do about that? Oh, Paimon knows. How about Paimon share some of her luck with you? You're welcome to a bit of mine, too. Although, if the last few days are anything to go by, it seems in pretty short supply at the moment. Mm. You guys. Oh, thanks. <sighs> With a little luck from everyone combined, we'll make it down this mountain for sure. Yeah, you bet. Let me flip a treasure hoarder insignia to test it out. All right, it's tails. The opposite of what I guessed. So you can predict your fortune this way? But why are you so happy that you got it wrong? It has two sides, so there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Luck all comes down to probability, too. So as long as I use up all the bad luck, everything else will go smoothly. Guessing wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the bad luck. So the probability of having some good luck in the near future just got a little higher. Hey, he's making no sense at all. Why aren't you calling him out? <clears throat> Come on, he isn't you. Guys, I guessed wrong in my insignia flip, which means we should be able to make it back to camp. I think you're, uh, you're just thinking things a little too uh, hard there. Paimon's not sure that's how it works. Let me try. It's this way, right? Oh, 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 my butt. Well, what is this shard of ice doing here? What? How truly miraculous. This is a miracle of misfortune. Somebody should write a paper on that boy. I don't usually believe in luck, but Bennett makes the best case for it I've ever seen. Amber, if you are ever required to partner with Bennett in your future work and you encounter anything like this again, do not take any rash action. Wait for me and I will come to support you. <laughs> huh? Y yes of course. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Trekking in the mountains has a way of wearing you out. Well, since everyone is tired, why not take a rest in my camp? I'm on so sleepy. <sighs> a nice bowl of hot soup and a good sleep would sure be welcome right now. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm kind of sleepy too. Amber will fall asleep in the snow if we keep going much longer. Come on. Let's move. We shall head to Albedo's camp and get some rest. Take stock of our supplies and decide how to get off this mountain. Can't they just teleport? I guess that's just us. Do we want to do it? Do we need to do it? fire here either. Crap. Whoops. Didn't mean to go and do that. <clears throat> here we are. Make yourselves comfortable. Hey, we're still suffering from the effects of being cold. Oh, I forgot. I, uh, don't have that many chairs. Uh, Please wait a moment. What's he doing? Painting? He is. He's painting a chair. <gasps> wait, alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? My paintings are like blueprints. Alchemy simply enables me to omit the manufacturing part of the process. It's an elementary level technique. <laughs> With enough research and experimentation, 
The same technique can even be used to create living beings. Whoa. Well, since you can magically produce chairs, can I have one of the backrest? No problem. How many of you want backrests? Me! 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 Amber's too cute. I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. Can Paimon have a chair that comes with a juicer? Still beats squeezing onto a stool with you. Hmm. <laughs> cool, we have chairs now. <laughs> this is so comfortable. Makes me want to stay the night here. Can we lose our effect of being You're very welcome to stay overnight if you wish. There's still some time before dinner. Get some rest, everyone. I'll tend the stove. Hey, now, we can't be letting you do all the work. I can help. Please, put me to work. I really like Amber's, uh, energy, her charisma. She's adorable. Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. I still have a few things to prepare. Please tell me you're not using this to make dinner. I hadn't expected you to be so interested in paint. I once tried grinding mist flowers into powder and mixing it with white paint to replicate the sparkle of snowflakes. The end result was quite satisfactory, but works that use this kind of paint need to be stored carefully. If you want to try it for yourself, I can help you. Even now, I don't believe I have fully grasped the nature of the threat that Dragonspine poses. Dragonspine poses a threat? But I will endeavor to keep you safe. That much you can trust in. <laughs> I wish I could simply respond with, I'm fine. But you are a true friend to me. So I should be honest with you. Recently, certain questions have been occupying my mind. Questions about the nature of life and creation. However, I feel that rushing into a discussion with you on these topics before my ideas on them are hey, fully formulated a very cold will bring you far more confusion than clarity. Hila's being over there stoic as always. So I will wait till my thoughts are clear in my own head before I share them with you. Until then, please forgive me. Don't worry about it. A chance like this to gather around the fire and chat into the night is a rare and precious one for me. I won't participate in the conversation much. It's just a habit of mine. But please know that I am enjoying the atmosphere all the same. Of course, I'm happy to continue chatting with you if you'd like. It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner. I wonder if there's anything I could do to help out. Oh, you mean Gerald? I heard that Eula developed a whole training program for him. He might be new, but I bet he'll improve pretty quickly with a mentor like that. <sighs> I feel bad. It's hard knowing that I've been causing so much trouble for everyone. Being a little unlucky is usually no big deal for me. But in a place like this, it makes me worry that something really bad might come of it. No, wait, I shouldn't have said that. I might have actually jinxed it now. <laughs> you know me, same old Bennett, unlucky as ever. But as long as bad luck doesn't break me, I'll always get back up again. Especially on a cool adventure like this one, I gotta make the most of it. <laughs> Sorry for dragging you guys into another situation. I didn't used to know any of these knights very well, but after spending some time with them on this trip, it's really opened my eyes to my own shortcomings. They're all so talented and kind. I have a lot to learn from them. Oh yeah, you gotta tell me sometime how you managed to make friends with so many talented people. Okay, cool. Make sure you eat plenty when dinner's ready. Hmm. <clears throat> I wanna see what Eula has to say. This is quite cozy for Dragonspine. I'm pleasantly surprised. I gave it a try. And I actually quite enjoyed it. Well, that's good. It was adorable. 
but Amber said the snowman I made was too artistic. Apparently, the conventional style is more rotund in appearance. <laughs> I couldn't tell if she was complimenting me or mocking me. Either way, I'm not about to let it go. <laughs> I'm quite familiar with Dragonspine by now, but this time, I have a newcomer to worry about. And I'm traveling in a group with Amber and the others. Not things I'm terribly well accustomed to. Still, I've taken the job, so of course I'll do what's asked of me to the fullest of my ability. I'll settle this score once this is all over. Me? I'm coping perfectly well. I don't need looking after. You should talk to Amber and Bennett. They're not as well acquainted with Dragonspine as I am. Seeing how much you can find to talk about even with Albedo, you must be quite the conversationalist. So put that skill to good use. Teach them all how to survive on Dragonspine. I'm sure this is well within your capability, no? If you're talking about Bennett's situation, I think I'm used to it now. It's hardly the end of the world. Don't ruminate on it. Take this chance to get some proper rest. The nights are long on Dragonspine. <laughs> <sighs> A glass of ice-cold wine would not go amiss right now. I'd love to bring her one. Don't mind me. Just do whatever you like. This should be an extra quest item. Alright, what you got to say, Amber? Ah, <sighs> it's so nice and warm here. Joel's been doing pretty good. Having people to play with has put him in a good mood. I'll tell you what, though. He seems to have even more stamina than me. <laughs> so long as they're playing, kids always seem to have endless amounts of energy. It's more dangerous up here than I thought. In a hostile environment like this, even a Knight of Favonius has to keep their eyes open and keep their wits about them at all times. Still, this has been a pretty unique adventure for me. It's definitely been worth it. You know, when I was keeping Joel company, I started missing my grandfather really bad. After he disappeared, I never saw him again. I have no idea how he's doing. But at least what I can do is focus on being a great outrider. If I can do that well, I know he'd be proud. Oh, all that? Uh, don't worry about it. <clears throat> Eula is a good person. She might not show it, but she'd never let that kind of stuff get to her. As for Bennett, he seems like the kind of guy who can keep his spirits up when things aren't going well. I feel <clears throat> bad having to ask so much of Albedo, though. Still, it's kind of nice to have everyone together like this, so... Yay for silver linings! Sure thing, <laughs> bet you're tired as well. You should get some rest too. Light the bonfire. Okay, well, um... Gonna need me a pyro. Which I guess since Amber's already here... Hey, we need to le her, level her up, big time. See if we can get three levels. Okay, do that. <laughs> oh, I meant to hit it. Ah. Okay. That. Hmm. Eh, I have to use it. Okay, so for ascension wise, we have to go deal with the the fire flower giant thingy. And she's the one that needs the lamp grass to level up, so we may end up doing that eventually. Okay. Alright, so we got to talk to everybody, get dinner going. Let's do this. Food's ready, everyone! Come on, let's eat! I made a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. This is no good hunter, but there should be enough to go around. Please, help yourselves. 
Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! <laughs> if you guys haven't had dinner yeah. over a campfire, Hi, you are missing soul. out. What? Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? Hmm. You may be onto something there. Right? Paimon thinks so too. It's his lab manner that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be slapdash with his salt and pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Oh, he seems happy. It's almost adorable. Um. I'm so sleepy after all that food. <sighs> Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally wiped out. The way he's sleeping is so alert. I'm impressed. <sighs> no, he's gone. He seems to be in a deep sleep. Ooh, Pino wonders if he sleep talks. Uh, oh, no, Dad, no apples for me. I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. Sticky honey roast? That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, <laughs> sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> she also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Aww, it's nice that you two are so close. The Traveler and Paimon always eat together, too! It's a sure sign of true friendship! Just keeping my emergency food fattened up. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. <laughs> now she's all pouty face. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. Aha! Paimon just noticed something! Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Ah, you've all picked up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. <sighs> we are done here, yes. I am free to go, am I not? <laughs> Aww. Then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. <laughs> You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! Oh my! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. Now she's all mad. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's go together. An ice bath? Whew, rather them than Paimon. So much roast meat. Hey, midnight. Kind of busy, buddy. Sorry. Oh, hey, Dad. I'm doing all right. I'm a leader of my own adventure team now. Wow. Poor kid. Ben really is a sleep talker. Okay, looks like we got some downtime now. All right, you two. Time to paint. Have you decided what to paint? Like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Paimon. Oh god, no, 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 no. No Paimon drawing. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Aren't, aren't we already outside? Okie dokie. All right, grab your easel, paper, brushes, and paints. Don't leave anything behind. Shush, emergency food. We're gonna go back up here. Why are we gonna do that? Light some fires up and get this started again. Oh, 
Oh, it's going. Well, crap. Hmm. Let's paint here. Allow Paimon to adopt an elegant pose for your artistic reference. <laughs> Seriously, because this is going on Paimon's wall. <laughs> what wall? She ain't got a house. Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. You know, I don't think I've ever read this thing. Snow whipped across the skies. The pillar that fell from the heavens was riven in three. Oh, we gotta find stone tablets. All right, let's start with the head. Now, in your mind's eye, what is written on Paimon's face? <laughs> well, let's see. Paimon's all out of brain juice or dopey but adorable. Too dopey but huh? adorable. Is that how Paimon really looks to you? Aww. Oh, now I kind of feel bad. Okay, forget it. We can come back to that. Let's move on to the body. Come on, paint what you see when you look at Paimon. Uh, Paimon's starting to feel like this is not going to turn out so great. <laughs> now Paimon's getting nervous. Let me see. Let Paimon see. <laughs> That is fantastic. Hang on, I need to capture that. No, cat. We gotta capture this. This is this is beauty. I'll uh, I'll finish editing it later. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> and those eyes! Those boring, lifeless eyes! Where's the soul? <coughs> uh, Traveler, have you previously received any education in the fine arts? Oh, really? So it's just a hobby then? Oh, well, that sure explains a lot. There's no way you would have made Paimon look like this if you'd had any amount of formal training. Fascinating. Paimon, if this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. Uh, Traveler, what do you think? <laughs> <sighs> All right then. Paimon, is this better? It's... Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art... art. Ow, my chest hurts from laughing. This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level. Rather, that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty. You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. You should be thanking the Traveler. <laughs> in truth, ground-up overhaul is more or less an accurate description. <laughs> well, I mean, that was about my actual in-real-life er uh, uh, expertise in art, too, so... The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. Albedo's too nice. <laughs> Great! Paimon! painting. Paimon's 
gonna show this out to everyone! It's nothing. I can paint you next time, if you'd like. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. That would be awesome. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But... I don't dislike it. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. Hmm. Ah, it's a new day! Let's go meet up with everyone! Nice! Get to move on to the next one. Hey, good morning! <sighs> I slept great last night. How about you guys? All rested up? I'm fine, as usual. The path down the mountain is easier to follow in the daylight. Let's take this chance to head down to the base camp. Let's go! If we make good time, maybe we can all get lunch together. Okay. Oh. I flipped another insignia just outside the camp. Wrong again. So your bad luck is all used up. We'll be down the mountain in no time. <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Today's the day. Nothing serious. I'm okay, but I don't see the other two. I'm afraid the avalanche may have pushed them off the cliff. They fell down? They'll be okay though, right? I think they're both robust enough to survive the fall. But if the falling debris knocked them unconscious, and they're lying there in the freezing cold, we have to get down there and rescue them. Immediately. Okay, let's move. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> Okay, so down there. I won't let you down. Huh, get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Wait for the down. Look for the objective in the area. I'm injured. Thank goodness. Scared the life out of me. And about about Albedo, they haven't mentioned one word yet. If you're dizzy, sit and rest for a while. Ah, uh, it's fine, really. This kind of thing happens all the time. I'll be fine. Thank you. Wait, where's Albedo? Isn't he with you guys? We thought he fell off the cliff with you. He still hasn't shown up? We found Bennett here, so Albedo can't be far away. Keep searching this area. Yes, ma'am. Got it. Okay. Um, hang on a second. We need to switch back my party members to somebody a little stronger than me. I'd really like to be able to get Hu Tao built up a little higher. Just but... what will we come across? Yes, yes, we're getting cold. Oh, we have to really deal with this guy. I hope not. Freshness 
him from getting at it. start losing health here. Okay, now we need to do some serious healing. Uh, restores 10%. Yeah, we're not doing so well in this. Let's see, we got him so stinking close. Chill to the bone. Come on. Judgment. It's right there, just is this my final job? We did it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Any other fires we can go visit? We're gonna have to do some serious amounts of healing, though. Okay, um, hang on, hang on. Party set up. We're, we're gonna bring out Amber again. No, not details. Switch. Leave it to me. Okay, let's get a fire going. Let's restore everybody again. Ooh, that was too close. We still got 50 seconds before we can heal again. Um, what's this? Cupcake. Uh, who's Cupcake? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think Maya's on, so... Uh, 
20 seconds. Well, we could. So we need to be here. Let's go back to here. I want that treasure chest now that we're here. And we ain't gotta deal with the pain in the ass guy, so. Animal test 6308. Stand clear. Animal test 6308. Oh, protect us. Oh. down this way. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Investigate. Hey, just Mora. Okay. No. We'll do that another day. We've got an adventure to finish here. Come on. Yeah. We need to get us to adventure rank 40 so we can... here. No. But this place is kind of interesting. Why are we still taking cold or gaining cold when the uh, when I was underneath there? That makes no sense. Well, any sign of him? <sighs> Not a trace. Nothing from me either. Strange. We didn't have any luck either. Where could he have gone? Everyone. Are you the real Albedo? <gasps> Albedo! <sighs> are, are you okay? Makes you wonder. Nothing serious. Okay. Everyone accounted for. Guys, I, I think it's got to be because of me. The avalanche only happened because I'm here. I guess flipping a treasure hoarder insignia isn't going to change my luck after all. No wonder no one wants to go adventuring with me. I'm so sorry. Don't say that. I'm hardly the lucky type myself, so I'm not about to go blaming every little thing that goes wrong on you. Exactly. Besides, Dragonspine is a dangerous place. Avalanches literally come with the territory. Bad luck has nothing to do with it, okay? Traveler, what's wrong? Your face looks... <gasps> oh no, did you get hit on the head? Hmm. <laughs> Here. Yeah. Everyone, the incident is behind us now. We should keep moving. Why do I feel that Dragonspine has become more dangerous than it used to be? I hope it's just my imagination. Our top priority now is to get off the mountain and regroup with the adventurers. Whatever further dangers this mountain has to throw at us, we must face them together. Agreed. Guys, keep your eyes peeled and watch your step. Careful does it. Yeah. 
Warmth! Yay! Warmth! I hate Dragon Spine. This place sucks. There is no joy to be had here. <sighs> We've been heading in the right direction for a good length of time now. We must be getting close. I can feel it. <laughs> Victory is in sight! Hooray! As soon as we get to base camp, Paima wants a bowl of hot soup and some barbecued meat. I hope we can all get there safely. No more incidents, please. time on dragon spine before it sure is cold but the view is amazing <sighs> isn't it eula hmm. eula sorry i wasn't listening what did you say <laughs> i was just thinking whenever i've met up with you at dragon spine in the past we always stick to the same few spots it's much more vast and beautiful here than i realized if it were a little warmer and a little safer, I bet this place would be bustling with visitors. I agree. People are put off by the cold and have an aversion to danger. They don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior. If you were willing to spend the time and energy. Yes, ma'am. I get that message loud and clear. Albedo, is this the way down? That was definitely yes. an invitation, if I ever saw one. I think there are several routes in this area. Mm, does the path fork off here? It looks like it does. Mm, but maybe it doesn't. My head's still a little fuzzy from the impact. I'm kind of dizzy, too. I keep thinking things are swaying a little. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry. Neither path will work for us. The smaller trail is less worn and harder to see. But it's also shorter. Since everyone is weary, I suggest we take the shortcut. Follow me. That's not the real Albedo. Wait. Yes, let me click. Bennett and Amber don't look well. Can we take a break? We can continue once their conditions have improved. Ugh. Now that you mention it. Huh? I... You hit your head earlier, didn't you? Oh, you, you noticed. Uh, are you sure it's worth holding everyone up over a little thing like this? No problem at all! Health and safety always come first. Okay, sorry for this. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. But there's no place it's safe to rest here. Some water can help with the dizziness. Oh, and uh, lying flat on your back helps too. Yes, but you are in cold environments, so that would immediately kill you because your body can't produce enough heat to warm the ground. Thank you, Bennett. Seems like you really know your stuff. <laughs> well, when life gives you lemons, Bennett, weren't you feeling dizzy too? <sighs> Stop pushing yourselves, both of you. Get some rest. We'll continue when you've gathered your energy. <laughs> Yula might come off as a little frosty, but she takes caring for her friends super seriously, more than anyone else I know. 
Every time I see that look on her face, I'm just like, ah, stop staring at me. Traveler, I know what that look means. What's on your mind? Maybe seasoned veterans have an instinct for it. I sense it too. Something seems to have changed, but I can't confirm for sure. They could be difficult to verify. Yeah, I'm pretty sure something's up with Albedo. We may be dealing with the uh, imposter at the moment. It might be imprudent to speculate out loud. But I believe you know what I am referring to. Or Albedo is the imposter, and he has personality disorder? <laughs> Traveler, I think... You... So, okay, was the imposter. Ah, uh, Albedo used this as a trap. What the heck is going on? Do I get to fight now? Oh, holy crap. Brace yourselves. This will be a challenge. Stay back! I'm going to cut this weed down to size! Oh. Heck, I can't hit it? I guess not. The show begins. Uh oh. Eek. I'm not sure I'm strong enough to handle this. Let's do 
Lord, I can't get out of this. This is not working well for me. Change party? No. Uh, you'll pay for that. I'll race you there. I can't do anything. Can't get anybody revived fast enough. Yeah, we're gone. Maybe this okay, is just so. fate's dark design. Tired. I couldn't even get out of that one. And I, yeah, screw you. Stupid game. All right, where is? We need to get Hu Tao in on this. Um, no. Set set she catches up. us lazing around like. <sighs> Maybe, or would. There's still a long road ahead. I kind of think I want to return back to Geo. Come on. Oh, no, that's not really what I wanted to do. I just wanted to heal. Hmm. I really need to work on getting some other pyro types going. Hutao might be my best option, though. What, achieve what achievements did we get? Mountain of Treasure. Oh, ooh. 
Okay. Actually, I'm gonna say Hu Tao will probably be our better Good bet. eye. Traveler. I know what that look means. What's up? Maybe seasoned veteran. I sense it too. Okay, yeah. Can we, Some... can we just it might be... get to the point where... Traveler, I... you... I wanna skip. I wanna skip. I will not let you skip. That's kind of bad. We've already witnessed this. I really wish uh, Amber was better, stronger. the opportunity to actually lay waste to this guy or this thing it's not over yet I hope it gives an explanation as to what's going on though okay so I have a slightly better understanding of what I need so we're gonna try for Brace it. Yourselves. This'll be a challenge. Stay back! I'm going to cut this weed down to size! Suffering so badly. Which one's down? Any of them down? No. Judgment. Oh, 
Oh, because it interrupted me, I didn't get to lose it. Did you stop? Okay, so the faster you get now... I don't think it's actually going to cause much damage, but... Gives me a chance to recoup here. And what do I got here that's good? 40%. Go ahead and let her have that one. That one. Sucrose is needing food. Animal test 6308. Stay clear. <laughs> Um, keep attacking, please. Absorption test. Animal test 6308. Oh. Protect us. Ready, steady, go. <laughs> Alright, let's put some hurt on that thing. And it didn't be much at all. to be nice and comfy and quiet. What in the world was that thing? One moment it was human, the next it was a plant. Is everyone all right? Oh my. We're fine, but can you please tell us what's going on? I, I don't understand. I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Correct. As you might have guessed, this is a mutated whopper flower. An extremely rare kind. But can Whopper Flowers turn into humans? I guess so, Paimon. It just freaking happened in front of your eyes. Not typically. But conditions on Dragonspine are far from typical. Though I wonder if Albedo is impartially to blame. Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines, accelerating their rate of mutation. How could that happen? This mountain is home to the remains of Durin. The venomous dragon. If there is anywhere in the world one might expect life to do unfathomable things, it would most likely be here. 
Durin was an artificially created life form. Its existence is nothing short of a miracle and proof of countless possibilities. In other words, this mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries. A vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. The avalanche. It must have been the work of this imposter. Agreed. All the other troubles you faced on the way down could also have been its handiwork. My guess is that it was targeting everyone that I've had contact with. Right, I forgot all about that. It's not inconceivable. But what was its purpose? Was it just trying to get rid of us? Hmm. I have a preliminary hypothesis on this. Whopper flowers are masters of mimicry and those we encounter in the wild often appear in the vicinity of the plants they impersonate. In other words, the whopper flower likely has an instinct to replicate and replace. As a plant, it will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group, hiding among them for cover. The plant being imitated has no way to detect or fight back against this behavior. But when it disguises itself as a human... It wanted to replace you and infiltrate our group? Yes. Maybe it created the avalanche to get rid of us. I predicted this eventuality, so I availed myself of the avalanche to hide and lure it out. It was watching us the yep, whole time. that one. And when it saw that I had disappeared, its instinct was to take my place. At that point, its disguise was complete, and its next move was to hunt its prey. Yes, that's exactly how Whopper Flowers operate. So when it approached and attacked Joel, what was that? A trial run? Perhaps. Or maybe it enjoyed posing as a human, and wanted to experience what it felt like to be human. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the Traveler was the first person other than Albedo to notice something was wrong. Traveler, how could you tell the real me and my imposter apart? I want to know too. I had no idea the other guy was an imposter. They looked exactly the same to me. I see. It goes to show how difficult it is to impersonate a human. This mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly, but still managed to miss some details. Unbelievable. It bothers me that to the think a dragon spine creates time. such terrifying possibilities. She's still heckin' cute, though. Same one we met on the day we were chasing the thief. It didn't feel quite the same. Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through. About that. If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury, well, that's because I was secretly protecting you. <laughs> huh? Uh, well... That still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. <sighs> okay. We've been delayed long enough. Time to move on. Yeah! Let's go! <sighs> I really wasn't expecting this part to take this long, but... it The last ones took long too, so... I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> All right, we need to find heat, and we're not going to find it here, so let's run. Run, run, run. Let the show begin. I forgot. Go! Close enough. There we go. We stay right here until we heal up a little bit. Sucrose in particular. Wait a minute, how far do we have to go? Oh, we're going all the way back over here? And we're, the, we're not, yeah, we're not walking from here to there, so teleport. to be here. He must have headed up the mountain. Let's wait for him here. Amber, 
Are you feeling better? Yep, all good now. Nothing to worry about. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. If not for you, I'd probably still be locked up in that cage. I really want to thank you all properly, but I can't think how at the moment. Huh? You must be pretty used to being on the receiving end of people's kindness by now, though, surely? You probably need it often enough, given your... situation. <laughs> oh, come on, don't put it like that. Sure, plenty of people have shown me kindness before, but that doesn't mean I will ever take it for granted. Well, instead of repaying those who helped you, perhaps you could help others yourself. Everyone meets others in need from time to time. By choosing to be there for them, you're passing the kindness you received onto others. Yep, you're right. That's what I've always tried to do, and will always continue to do. <laughs> right. And when Cyrus gets back, I'll find some way to help him out, too. <sighs> this has been quite an eventful day. Yeah, it has. It's really hit me how tired I am now that I've started to relax. <sighs> I need to rest. Everyone, please excuse me for a while. Yeah, I need to get some water and maybe a piece of fruit. Once I'm rested up, I need to get back to being an instructor again. <sighs> well, it looks like the curse of the mountaineers who couldn't get off the mountain is finally broken. Feels like an action-packed chapter has come to a close. Hmm. Shall we find somewhere to rest and chat, too? Why not? Then, please, come with me. You sent something too, didn't you? Then let's go. Huh? Ooh, what's next? Are you going back to your camp again? Um, Paimon thought maybe we could talk here. Uh, okay. Might as well come with you. I wonder how symbiotic she has become to Lumine. I mean, could technically Paimon stay here for a while? Good. Shall we set off right away? To a campsite, not the same campsite? Sorry for bringing you this back here once again. Some topics are best discussed in private. Is this about the imposter? That's right. I have to say, Traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference between me and the imposter. Yes, this mark. Perhaps it's where it all began. Sounds like the beginning of a big story. Keep going. Well, I uh, can't deny that what I'm about to say does sound like something from a children's storybook. So, what do you think this diamond-shaped mark means? Uh, a tattoo? A crest? Something else? No. Consider it a, uh, a birthmark. Have you ever seen an intricate glass ornament and wondered how it was made? Well, one method for crafting with glass is a technique known as glass blowing. Glass blowing is not a widely known art in Tevat. For this reason, glassware made in this way is usually very expensive. As the name implies, glass blowing involves blowing air into a hole, much like blowing up a balloon. This type of glassware is known for having a pontal mark at the point where the blowpipe was inserted, where the hole was sealed at the very end. This mark is a sign that the item was crafted by a human hand. Sounds kind of amazing. It is a wondrous and beautiful art form. Alice says that these marks are seen as proof of the maker's fine handiwork, the only flaw in an otherwise perfect work of art. My mark is something similar to this. The difference between synthetic and natural life lies in the directional flow of the life force. The energy of a natural life form flows out from within. That's why flower buds bloom and curled leaves unfold. And it's the very reason we watch and wonder at blossoming flowers. Creating life artificially, on the other hand, involves, to a certain extent, the introduction of an external source of energy into the embryonic life form. When the hole where the life force was infused is sealed at the end, it leaves a mark not dissimilar to the pontal mark in blown glasswares. The alchemical substance drips and spreads out in all directions, resulting in this rather ingenious diamond shape. Wow! So that's where it came from! 
This mark is a sign of my artificial origins, and proof of my imperfection as a human. I presume that the imposter intentionally avoided replicating this mark, so as not to become less than perfect himself. You are fundamentally different from other people. I have few qualms about sharing my secrets with you. Hmm. That's nice. Just as Paimon said, it all sounds like a story. Even if you were to tell anyone else, they would regard it as nothing more than a tall tale. The transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. People like to believe that those who are thoroughly different from themselves could only ever exist in stories. It makes things much easier. Indeed. Or, in other words, all the unfathomable things we've seen recently would make good material for a novel. I have friends who write novels. If they wrote this story, it'd probably be even more complex. Making up stories is easy. Even Paimon can do that. Oh. I didn't know you had that kind of talent. <laughs> Paimon's the best guide into that! Making up stories is a piece of cake! In that case, how about we have a storytelling contest? Oh, no, no. We can base our stories on the events of the last few days. Sounds great! Uh, but we still have to help out the Adventurers Guild. I understand. Creativity is something that cannot be rushed. Take your time, and come back when you have found some inspiration. We'll see whose story is more... compelling. Deal! Okay, we'll regroup with the Adventurers Guild for now. Sure. My story... Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. This is where the story truly begins. <laughs> if we switched places... If you were the survivor... Then as the abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project, I'd want to replace you, too. I would replicate your appearance, study your alchemy, and create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the Traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. And then, I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. What? Okay then. Okay, destroy all the arcane fruits and defeat the flat flower. Well, that looks like a pain in the butt. We may end up doing this another time, though, because, uh... Take a look. Hey, we got six Suprema Gems for it, too. <clears throat> and Hero Wits. Very nice. Okay, so it looks like in terms of those things... That's the two about the situation. Okay, well... This is all Inazuma stuff. Well, except for a couple of them. But anyway, that's going to be for another time. We are going to call it a night at this point. Hopefully you guys had fun as we took on the quest there. Knocked out the Albedo bit. And, uh... Yeah. Thank you for joining me, those that did. Uh, been a long day for me, so I'm going to call it quits. Hope you all had fun. And until the next live stream... Stay safe out there, and we'll see you later.